Hello Leo, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sense of Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here and I do hope you're doing well. These are going to be general tarot card messages for the sign of Leo. Um, because they're general messages, all of the messages may not apply to all of you. So take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly. So like I say, thank you for being here. Welcome in your energy. I hope to get the most accurate messages out for your weekly reading. So breathe with me here, gather your energies and let's get started. Before we do that though, please hit the like button, share the messages with those you love by hitting share and you can share it to your WhatsApp, Facebook or your blog. And if the messages inspire you, do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, much love and appreciation. Leo, your energy is, hmm, I feel like like you feel betrayed or stabbed in the back or hurt or sad or down. Like you have a lot to deal with, like, oh. And at the same time, it also feels like you're telling yourself you don't have people around you to rely on, something like that. Like you're doing a lot right now on your own, for your own. But I feel like this is the darkest hour of the night with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Swords, pardon me, energy. The darkest hour of the night before the dawn breaks for you. So something is in the clarity, vibration, the hermit is your obstacle. It's almost like this is what is preventing the, the, the hour, the darkest hour to end. You know, you can, pro as if you are prolonging the darkest hour because you're still looking for something. You're still trying to find some answers here. The hermit, oh my god, love. It, this feels like Virgo energy wanting to give love. Ace of Cups. As if this person just came upon you and is, is giving you this abundance of love. Could be water sign. But at the same time, I feel like maybe you're not ready. That's why you don't want your darkest hour of the night to end yet. Maybe you're still soul searching, still studying, going back to school, releasing, serving, connecting, turning your burdens to light, etc., etc. So you're just not ready for the, maybe you're just not ready for the fullness of it yet, for it to end. You feel like there's more you're learning. I fit magician energy, powerful. The death card, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy of something ending. I just got energy of someone being bitten. Once bitten, twice shy. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo energy, strength, vibration with the fire. Could be a love. Oh, I like that. It feels like it does feel like someone you live with. Leo, the water sign, and the strength, emotions, feelings, intuition. I feel like someone is trying to pull you out of a certain energy, literally, physically holding your hand and pulling you up. But you're like, no, I don't want to get up. I don't want to do this because you have to figure out something. I feel like you're, I don't want to say you're angry, but you're not parched or scarred, scorched, mm -hmm, like scorched, like you've been burnt and you want your like vengeance energy. You want to say your peace, but someone may be saying, no, you know, let's just move on. And you're like, nope, I'm a fight. I'm going to fight this girl. And they're like, no, don't fight. But you feel like fighting. Some way, shape, or form. There could be a Pisces energy in your vibration. That could be the energy that wants to give you love or pull you out of fighting and fussing. Maybe this person feels like they can heal you or offer you healing and restoration. But as I say, I feel like you're just not ready to hear that yet. Um, you're working on your empire here with the emperor energy. Your business creating legacy strength beautiful that's your vibration i feel like you're really denying connections when it comes to heart space connections queen of swords you don't feel like you're blocking maybe blocking love you may be single i don't know focusing on work i feel like you have to tap into the strength energy we see strength and magician wanting to come out and play because i feel like prowess yeah you're you, you're in your prowess energy charging and it could be love that you're serving but i do feel like someone wants to love you 
So the Emperor energy is what you've built. The death energy wants to come out once more. What's that crashing? You know, it's the energy of building something upon a grave. The Wheel of Fortune and the Star. Restoration. Pisces energy as well. Maybe someone that died for you was Pisces. Could be your mother. Or maybe that person didn't die. But it's the energy of building upon a... When I see the death card and the emperor... Look, it feels like building upon a, upon a, upon a grave. Energy upon a grave. But it's not... Uh, it's not scary. It's more like foundation. Um, I feel like it also has a part to play with your work, what you do for work, and your desires, what you chase, your dreams, the work you built. You're moving past what this is. Maybe a lack of connection or doubts, just not trusting. Something new is a in in your presence, a new energy, a new light. Your ancestors, spirits, guides, a new gift. A new job, something new. Let's see. Um, maybe something in your house. Like maybe you're gonna get title. <laughs> like maybe you're living in a castle, the strength card. Like you're claiming something and owning it. Strength card. A path, a mission. Having something to do with the work you choose to do. Your kingdom. Claiming this deed. You know? And you're like, okay, um, I'm going to take... I'm, you, like, the strength card, I feel like you can... You can run a kingdom. That's how I feel like. With the Ace of Wands. It feels like this is your castle. And the land is yours and you're supposed to govern over it. You may have something to do with the Capricorn vibration. Capricorn got a similar feeling today. Emperor building, creating, work building from the ground up. Your own business. So what is coming up for you is the Knight of Wands, which is dream chaser or... This is your energy. What are you going to do? Maybe you're going to move or travel or visit someone and come back quickly. <laughs> Like you're going to go dipping in and out fast, somewhere. Is it work? Something having to do with work or business or service? Maybe you're traveling for this. Hey, the King of Cups wanted to come out. I'm telling you, there's a connection between a water sign and a fire sign powerfully. The King of Cups and... Uh, Oh my God, there's a lot. When it has come to your love situation, there's a lot going on with that, truly. Love situation with the fire sign and the water, the king of cups. That just, I feel like that king of cups just loves you, is captivated by you. They can't, they can't, they can't catch you. It's like they can't, they can't get a hold of you because you're always in and out doing something. This moment you're here, the next moment you're not. You may have a platform, you know, you may stream live online. That's what you do with the chariot. Um, so let's continue. <laughs> right now you're focusing on what? Maybe gathering or collecting enough money or valuables. It's like you're securing uh, your, your money right now. Maybe you're investing in real estate, Leo, you know something about a home and i hear a dream just now i feel like you have a huge big ass dreamer you know what i mean like you want to own skyscrapers and so on and so forth you're not thinking small at all that's why i feel like that's why you're not entertaining certain ideas of love you're chasing dreams and building an empire oh my god look you have done so i feel like you are already abundantly blessed financially there's something about this toxicity though maybe it's your thoughts something that happened to you when you were younger that it caused it shift your thinking and your focus okay but like i said i feel like you have already been liberated financially and with your feelings of well-being it's that earth energy you may have a lot of capricorn in your vibration when it comes to independence and wealth and working 
you may be receiving some money from an investment that you made or it's just growing profoundly but you never stop you know what i mean leo you keep moving there's always work for you to do it feels like you're always in and out doing something not always maybe just now So the darkest hour you want. See, so you're just you're holding on to this darkest hour of the night before daylight. You're not ready to move yet. Hmm. I feel like you may be interested in this, maybe this water sign that I mentioned earlier. You don't want this person to lose interest in you. I don't think you do. But at the same time, you don't. You're not willing to share your emotions right now. You know, I feel like you just have a lot to focus on, maybe. But not really. It's like a lot to give. The outcome is, oh my God, I like that. The dream come true. You're chasing a dream come true. You're making it happen. Or you've already done so. The Ten of Cups is my dream come true energy. It's new love, abundance, a new family, new friend, a new home. It's they're are reading late it's mostly about home and land and well being and happiness and family and generational wealth and building your empire. So you may be coming into a new love connection with someone that's gonna have the bravery, the strength, the courage to approach you. Okay. That's what I see for your week. Leo, it's been a, it's a good reading. Thank you for coming through and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. So remember that you're all always within you. All right. So as you exit, do hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next reading. Leo, much love. Take care. Bye.